I'm gonna tell you everything that you are doing wrong with your rabbit. Hello buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon's bun mom, and today I'm gonna tell you everything that you are doing wrong with your rabbit. Okay, that might be a little bit dramatic, but I know from experience that when you bring your rabbit home, you make a couple of mistakes. No matter how much research you do, no matter how much you try, if you've never owned a rabbit before, they're just so different than any other pet that there are just certain mistakes that I made and I am sure that you are currently making as well. And I am just gonna save you the trouble and help guide you through what not to do so that you don't waste your time, waste your rabbit's time, or waste your money. The very first thing that you are doing wrong when you bring a rabbit into your home is not being prepared, not buying anything up front. When you bring your rabbit home, they are immediately going to need a playpen, they are going to need a litter box, they're gonna need some chew toys, a water bowl. These are not things that you can just go out and buy later. When you bring your rabbit into your home, you need to have their setup ready. Now, I talk about needing a playpen because on my channel, I support free roaming your rabbit, which means that they do not live in a cage. But when you bring your rabbit to a new space, opening them up to everything is very overwhelming. We'll get to that in a little bit. So you're going to start off in a playpen, but you need to have it before you bring the bunny home. Because what happens when you bring home the carrier and you don't have anywhere to put your bunny? But while I say that, the second thing that you are doing wrong is you are buying too much stuff. Now, I know I just said you need to bring everything that you need home before you bring home your rabbit, but you need to cut yourself off. I cannot tell you how much money I wasted on just stupid toys and beds and things for Cinnabon before I got her. And then when I got her, she did not even look at those things. Rabbits are so picky about what they like to play with that you're gonna figure that out once you get your rabbit. So I definitely would avoid buying too much too soon because you're just gonna waste your money and it's just not worth it. Just to prove my point, I thought it would be fun to go through Cinnabon's toy basket and show you how many toys I bought that she does not even touch. This cute hamburger, never played with it. This adorable stuffy bunny, she does not play with. This other bunny stuffy, doesn't even care that it exists. This stick thing, never once seen her chew on it. This radish, but there are quite a few toys in here, like this little rope, like this cupcake, things like that that she does play with. And I learned that over time as I got to know her chewing habits, so, just thought I would share my own experience here. The next thing you're doing wrong is you might be feeding your rabbit the wrong type of hay. Now there are two main types of hay that you're gonna feed your rabbit. Alfalfa hay or like a Timothy type of hay or an orchard grass if you don't feed Timothy. But these are for different types of rabbits. If you have a baby rabbit, they are going to be eating alfalfa hay until they are six months old. Alfalfa hay is chock full of a lot more nutrients and I actually go into this a lot more in my video all about hay, which I definitely recommend watching. You might have a baby bunny and not be feeding them alfalfa hay. That's really important for their growth. Definitely make sure you watch that video to know what type of hay to be feeding. But once you have an adult bunny, they are good to be eating Timothy and orchard grass and all of those types of grass hays. But it's really important that you know what to feed your rabbit or else you could be giving them the completely wrong type of nutrition. The next thing you're doing wrong is holding your bunny. I know, I know bunnies are so cute and soft and all you wanna do is snuggle up to them. But if you hold your rabbit too much, too soon, they are really going to become afraid of you. For the most part, rabbits do not like to be held. Every once in a while, there comes a bunny who actually does like to be held and cuddled, but that comes after months and maybe years of bonding with their owner. If you bring a rabbit home and immediately start holding them, they are going to view you as a predator. So if you want to bond with your rabbit, you actually want to touch them less. I know that doesn't seem to make sense, but if you are touching them less and giving them their own space, you are now giving them the power to control when they approach you versus making it the other way around. If you're constantly reaching out, grabbing at your rabbit, petting them when they don't wanna be touched, lifting them up, they're just going to learn to resent you and it's gonna make bonding with them 
way more difficult. Now, earlier in this video, I talked about free roaming and how I really urge all bunny owners to free roam in some capacity, whatever makes the most sense in your home. Free roaming your rabbit just means they don't live in a cage. So that can be anything from providing them with a very large playpen to play in, having their own room, or even just having all of the room in your home. It's up to you. However, when you bring your rabbit home, you want to start small. You're gonna be working on litter training your rabbit. You're going to be letting them get acclimated to their space. So if you provide them with too much space too soon, most likely they're going to destroy some of your stuff and become overwhelmed and not quite know what their territory is. So when you first bring your rabbit home, put them in a playpen for about a week, let them start to figure out their potty training, let them get used to the scent and smell of the space, open the playpen up for them to play during the day a little bit more, and you can build from there and free roam from there. Now the last thing that you might be doing wrong with your rabbit is treating them like a dog. Rabbits are rabbits. Rabbits are not dogs, which means you cannot have the same expectations for a rabbit that you have for a dog. If you want a pet that you can take on walks, that can play fetch, that does not mind being picked up and carried and jostled around with, get a dog. Rabbits are sweet and sensitive creatures. They can be very snuggly and they are great companions, but they are prey animals, which means that they are inherently more timid. If you want a pet that you can just throw into your bag and take all throughout the town, that is not a rabbit. Now, yes, I have taken Cinnabon on outings quite a few times, and I do think that it is important to get your rabbit acclimated to the car so that times where you need to travel or times where they need to go to the vet, they aren't just traumatized, but that needs to come in moderation and in balance. Most rabbits don't enjoy that. Now, again, rabbits can grow to enjoy that. Not all of them, but some do, especially those adventurous bunnies out there. Not all rabbits do, and you should not go into owning your rabbit with that as the expectation. That is the exception, not the rule. So Buns, that is my list of things that you might be doing wrong with your rabbit right now, but that is A-OK. -okay. Do not fret, do not stress. I also did pretty much everything on this list as well. It just takes some growing and adjusting and understanding your rabbit, but hopefully this video can help jumpstart that bond for you and help you recognize, oh, maybe I don't need to do these things that I'm doing right now. Thank you so much for watching today's video and we will see you in the next one. Bye, buns.